the end of last year, I made a video called 12 languages for 2020 with a really lofty goal to improve 12 languages that I am currently learning. Right off the bat, I received comments like, that's impossible, you can't learn 12 languages at the same time. That's true, it is highly not recommended to start 12 languages from scratch. A lot of these languages are already in maintenance mode. So I've been learning Korean for almost 10 years. That was like half of my life. <laughs> uh, and there are, however, other languages which I am starting from scratch, like Burmese. I have no history with it whatsoever. That aside, I would like to talk about my progress in these 12 languages. We are a quarter of the way through the year, so let us see how I am tracking in these languages. I started a thread on Twitter to uh, list my goals there so I could pin it so that every time I opened my profile on Twitter, I would be able to see these goals and remind myself to keep making progress. First of all, let's start with Korean. My goal was to take the topic exam and pass level 4. That did not happen because the exam got postponed twice. So once it got postponed to May and then it got postponed to June. That kind of threw off my language learning schedule a lot because I planned to get the topic out of the way in March so that I could focus fully and wholeheartedly on other languages. I've had to rethink my study plan. There is a video coming up of how I study grammar and how I made a schedule for that, so stay tuned for that. Korean exam prep has been going pretty good. Unfortunately, my language partner moved back to Korea, so I don't have anyone in person to correct my essays, but I've been focusing on improving my writing a lot. So here you can see an example of an essay that I'm working on, and you can see in red is where my friend is correcting my work. Before I write an essay on a specific topic, I also try to look up the words relevant to the topic and study those. I'd say it's been going quite all right with my Korean studies, but I definitely have lost a little bit of motivation now that we have so much more time. The second goal I listed was to pass N2 in the Nihongo no Ryokushiken, the JLPT. <laughs> I'm actually thinking that I maybe won't take the JLPT this year. Just because of how the year has turned out, there is a lot to do still for the topic, and I don't think I will probably be able to pass the N2 by December. So I might just uh, push this goal to next year. And I want to talk a bit about moving your goals. I think that's totally okay. Our goals are only for ourselves to act as a motivator. It's really not something that we have to prove to the world. And I'm only doing this to keep myself going. And if I'm burned out or if it's really difficult to achieve, it's okay to have flexible goals. I'm not being paid to study these languages. It's not like my life depends on it. So I feel completely comfortable and okay to be honest with you guys and say, well, maybe I just won't be taking the JLPT this year. The third goal is for French, get comfy speaking again and read more French articles. I can confirm that this goal is mission accomplished. I feel a lot more comfortable speaking French one of my most recent videos was actually entirely in French and a lot of that is because I've been consuming a lot more French content. I also have a friend from France who lives in Singapore and we've been speaking a lot more French so definitely immersion has been going good, going very well for French. I have not read a single French article though so <laughs> I should do that. Luckily these goals are for the entire year so we're only a quarter of the way through the year so I'm still okay I think. Next one is really scary. I wrote to get into B1 in Hungarian and understand and read most of one article. I don't know why I set this goal for myself because that is not gonna happen. <laughs> why? Why did I why did I do that? B1 is pretty high. That's like intermediate. Gosh, like I'm still using a beginner textbook. We're not going to achieve B1 in Hungarian by the end of this year. Let's move on to the next goal. Learn to read and write and reach A1 in Burmese. I have learned about three characters <laughs> and that is it. I have an app which I'm using to learn Burmese characters and that's really it. I can only say like Mingalaba, which is hello. Honestly, I haven't touched Burmese. I need to realign my priorities and think about that. Also, every language has a different reason that I'm learning it and Burmese is honestly just because I enjoy the music I have like one Burmese colleague and I like the writing system and my goal is also not to get fluent it's basically just to read and write we'll see how the rest of the year goes Arabic refresh reading and writing and reach A2 I have not reached A2 <laughs> 
luckily there's still time in the year but i have practiced my uh, characters like back in middle school uh i took arabic at school because i lived in the united arab emirates and there was this program we used to learn gulf arabic and my friend reminded me of it and it is hilarious i found it online and i've been playing around with that it's so funny so i've definitely been refreshing my reading and writing in arabic okay the next part of the thread is to have a 30 minute conversation in bahasa indonesia without english i think i've had a 10 minute conversation maybe less on uh, omegle <laughs> so i have a video coming up about talking to strangers on omegle so bagus bagus terima kasih <laughs> kamu berasal dari mana saya dari afrika selatan <laughs> <laughs> but your skin white yes uh, but maybe I had like a 10 minute conversation, definitely not at the level enough to talk for half an hour, but maybe by the end of the year, we shall see. Uh, the next one is for Mandarin Chinese, is to have a one hour conversation about something I'm interested in without English. Finally, a goal that I can say accomplished! I am very lucky to say that I do have an awesome language partner for Chinese. He is learning Korean and I'm learning Chinese and we've been practicing our languages together. A tip I have for language exchange with someone is to record your conversations. Take time and separate your conversation into like half an hour of one language and half an hour of another and be sure to do just a voice recording on your phone uh, so that you can listen back to that. Whenever they teach you something or say a new word, repeat it so you can hear yourself repeating it in their accent. So it's been going very good with my Chinese. I've been recording our conversations and I've learned a lot more vocabulary. Although my vocabulary is still lacking, at least I can keep a conversation going. The next goal was to learn Tagalog to A1 level and be comfortable speaking with my colleague. I can't say I've reached A1 yet, but I have been focusing a lot more on Tagalog. I have been working a little bit in a textbook and I've also been watching a lot more Tagalog movies on Netflix. So there's this really handsome Filipino actor who I've like watched all his movies. So there's some visual motivation for me to be immersed in this language, but it's still going to take a long time to improve my Tagalog. Another one of my goals was to have a 30 minute conversation in Vietnamese. I have not had the opportunity to have a full conversation yet, but I have been ramping up my grammar learning activities. I have a friend who is sending me um, grammar structures that I can learn because my textbook that I have is really basic and I've also been um, <laughs> talking to people on Tinder in Vietnamese. I'm just being honest with you guys, I have nothing to hide from you. So I actually had a very interesting conversation with the Vietnamese architect. I did have to look up a few words, but hey, that's how we learn. Something good that has been happening is the sheer amount of audio immersion I've been getting. So I'm a designer, so I need to do a lot of like crafting on screen so I can listen to podcasts and stuff because I'm not really, you know, typing when I'm working. I do gặp anh, do gặp anh. I am listening to podcasts in Korean, Japanese, and Vietnamese. So I found a really cool Vietnamese learning podcast uh, made in Korean. The app is called uh, Audio Clip. So on Audio Clip, it is for a Korean audience. It's made by Naver, but they also have uh, podcasts to learn other languages. So I've been listening to those while I work. Người Vietnam. I also wanted to read and write Devanagari and reach A1 in Hindi. None of that has happened whatsoever. End of story. <laughs> and be able to help myself get around Mexico and reach B2 in Spanish. I don't think I've reached B2. The last time I did a level check, I was at A2, between A2 and B1. I still need to do a lot of refreshing reading over my old Spanish notes. Polyglot conference in Mexico in October. I don't know if it's going to happen given the virus situation. Also, I don't think I can make it to Mexico this year. It's extremely far from Singapore. So I'm very sorry if you were excited to meet me at the Polyglot conference. I was so looking forward to talking to all of you guys there. But right now, as the situation stands, I don't think I will be heading to Mexico this year. 
that is a review of all of my language goals so far. So I will check in with you guys again halfway through the year. So stay tuned and let me know what you thought about the video in the comments. Also remember to check out my website. I post a lot of articles, resources, everything you could need for language learning. All the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!